Hey everybody, welcome back to this old trike. Today we're going to do uh, another review of a Mecham auction that happened in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This is back at the end of July. And when this happened, I was all gung-ho to, to make a video about it. But it was right before my big vintage ATC ATV event. And I said, well, I'll, I'll wait till after that. And then I then I just didn't want to do anything. So it took me a while. But we're uh, we're back ready to do this video so right now i have pulled up the uh the mecham auction website so this is showing the harrisburg 2023 results july 26th to 29th and i don't know that i saw anything that was as shocking as the uh the red chain bandit 86 350x that wasn't actually an 86 350x that went for 16 grand uh but there's some some stuff to look at. So let's just go through and I know sometimes you guys like me to to put my two cents on things and that's what I'll do here. So you know, we're not going to talk about motorcycles. I'm not going to talk about dirt bikes. I'm going to talk about what I know and we're going to start with this little uh, 86200SX. And we know the background of this picture is the the workshop of Tony Riba, the Red Chain Bandit, who loves putting lipstick on pigs and maximizing his profit. So this little number sold for thirteen seventy five, and honestly, that's a fair price. Uh, the seller on this unit probably didn't make what he wanted to. Uh, I could see this selling for more than that on Facebook. A marketplace or Craigslist. I wanted to look at the pictures, not move on. So, not original tires, but OEM fenders. Looks like it had a rack on it at some point, and it looks like it has a plastic Clark tank. I had one that had a plastic Clark tank. That's when I I bought it from my buddy Joe from Poughkeepsie, as we call him, Joe Whalen. Uh, that's how I met Joe. But this is a clean unit. Honestly, what was it, thirteen fifty on this? Somebody got a good deal. Uh, I don't know about the dirt bikes, but a little 82 ATC 70. So it's got a swapped out motor. I notice it's got an ignition here. The tank decal is installed way low. It's got Meyer fenders on it. See how this fender has these rises here? That's the 85 style fender, and that's what uh, Meyer fenders are patterned off of. So it's missing the dash pad. No, it didn't have a dash pad in 82. I take it back. But aftermarket throttle, aftermarket kill switch. E-start, it's got a battery box here at the rear. What did this sell for? $24.75. I tell you what, it's a clean unit. You know, I've, I've had to go through a bunch to build um, the pink Palomino for my daughter. And though some things are off, like that tank decal, honestly, that's cl probably close to what the seller has in it. You'd, you'd have a hard time building one for cheaper than that. All right, more of the candy shop. 250SX85 sold for 24.75. Meyer fenders, a repainted tank. That tank looks a little dark, doesn't it? Aftermarket tires. Look at look at the valve stem here. Look at this. Would you look at this? Look 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 look, look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Who who gets silver valve stems? So we repainted the rims and, and paid zero attention. That's got a tube in it. Zero attention to not getting paint on that valve stem. We didn't care about putting the decals on the rear fenders. These are obviously Meyer. It's a clean unit. I'm not a fan, honestly. I, you know, me, I like OEM. They, they didn't care to put the rubber back on the, the shift lever. 
I'm just looking around. Bar ends. We don't need bar ends to hold the grips on. Whatever. <laughs> Tony. He's blocked me on Facebook, so he must not like me being honest about his machines. This is all like a flat black. It looks like it's all just painted. The shock, oh yeah, oh yeah. Shock's all black. They just they just painted everything. Screw it. Hubs. Here's a sheared off bolt. Painted black. This is great, Tony. Perfect work. Be proud. Another quality product. Um, 2475. You know, the market's so funny these days. Is that too much? Is that too little? It's not outrageous that this, it's a clean machine. We'll get that. It's fresh. Uh, would I pay twenty four seventy five for it? No, I'd have to really want it, and I don't. I don't want that. I right, we got a big green. Okay, one thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars. That's actually low. I mean, I can tell you right now, he's got six hundred plus in rims and tires. The fenders are about six hundred bucks. Um, that's a Clark tank. So what are they going for right now? 250, 300. Straight front rack. A horribly recovered seat. Look at that. What is that? Sausage? What'd you use for padding in there? It's clean. I mean, everything's got fresh spray paint on it. We didn't have enough money in the budget for decals, unfortunately. Not that they would stick to the tank, but they would have stuck here, you know. Could have done a little bit better in that regard. But uh, all in all, for for nineteen twenty five, I'd say this thing went cheap, and I'd say good for what he uh, rakes in on other machines. He deserves to have a couple go cheap. Okay, nineteen eighty six three fifty X forty four hundred dollars. And honestly, this one isn't that much, you know, visually better than the one that went for 16 grand. So I don't know if something funny happened with that one, but let's look at this 86 350X. And let's confirm, because we know what he does. Let's confirm it's an 86. Now, how do we do that? We know 86 has had black top triple trees. We can't see the brake rotor stay here. It's got. The rims swapped out to aluminum rims, so we can't tell based on the rims. Let's look at more. Let's look at more. It's got the guard over the the steering stops on the lower triple. I don't see the clutch cable coming through here, so that is aligning. Yep, there's the clutch cable, so 86 motor. That chain guard is 86. We can't trust the seat cover, because that's been recovered. It has a seat leather tank cover with a metal gas tank that's an 85 shroud right there is the other shroud the other shrouds an 86 hard to tell if you if you don't know what you're looking at but see how this it's almost more vertical and then on the other one it's very much angled i know the angles of the pictures are different but that's 85 shroud Trust me, if I can point it out better in a different picture, I will. 86 style switch, whether it's repop or not, I don't know. Pro taper, bars, Meyer fenders, PRM grab bar, no skid plate. What color are the foot peg bolts? At least he stopped painting those red. Doesn't look like he repainted the frame on this one. I hate the fork boots. The routing of the front brake line is incorrect. It shouldn't go behind the headlight bezel like that. He really didn't do a lot to this one. 
<laughs> Thank God, right? Uh, OEM exhaust, and it has the heat shield on it. These pictures are all over the place as far as the sequence. So there's the tank underneath. That's the correct tank decal for 86. I prefer the look without that, that cover over it. Honestly, for 4400 bucks, the, the buyer got the better deal. I bet Tony was hoping for a lot more. 86 200X here. What do I see? That is not an 86 200X front rim. So some some funny businesses happen there. That's that is 84 85 83 80, 45 style. Looks to be Meyer fenders. Can't quite tell. Aftermarket rear brake master. Aftermarket tires, aftermarket bars. That headlight bezel looks too good to be original. But I don't believe Meyer makes a, re a replacement. Cheapest seat cover you could get. Metal tank. Definitely Meyer fenders. That swing arm is very silver. Like spray paint silver. DG exhaust. No skid plate. It's not the right tail light. Brad Rye sprocket cover. I bet it's a China carb on it. What it sell for? Thirty eight fifty. I wouldn't pay that. That's probably a little bit in uh, Tony's favor. Um, it's got a lot of bonuses like the tank being nice like it is but it's got some stuff that's just out and out wrong uh, 3000 I'd say would be top dollar for that but 3850 Tony Tony got him Takati fours I don't know three thousand dollars though that seems low I can't pick this apart. I'm not going to waste my time or your time. Whoa. How did we get here? How are we in cars? What did we do? Motorcycle. Take me back. 86250R. Four-wheeler. You know, I don't even know as much about these as, as you might think. 5775. I can tell you it's got Meyer plastics on it because these through bolting points are are not factory and plus the reinforcements here in the rears. Red chain, of course. This is a 88 seat cover. It doesn't fit right. You see how it's wrapped around there? And that warning wasn't on an 86. At least it has a shifter. Because we know sometimes he brings them to market without. This is a lipstick on the pig situation, I think. 57.75. I mean, they're going for big money now. Hard to say. And now I've got an 87. Seat cover looks correct, actually. No, it's not. You can see a seam here, so it looks better. I think 87 got four tracks on the seat. 86 was just a plain seat, even though they would interchange. Meyer fenders. Very similar build. Red chain. Non-red foot peg bolts. Thank you, Tony, for not doing that anymore. There's so much that he could just do a little bit better. Like, what did I just see? These motor mount bolts, Allen head. 
Like, is that going to hold up over time? He's missing a bolt here. Just doesn't care. Get it together, whatever whatever you can do. This one sold for 6000 bucks. It's a rider. Is it worth that? Is it worth 5000 It's inflated. It's still inflated. I'd say no. So we got an 88. 88s usually bring more money. 7100 on this. It's got Meyer fenders. It looks weird, doesn't it? Like, why does it look so high in the rear? Does it have the wrong shock in the rear? Doesn't it look jacked up back there? It's got an extended steering stem here. I think. It seems way high. No swing arm, skid plate. The seat installation. Look, look at the warning on the seat here. Coming up over the edge. Like, what are you doing? No front sprocket cover. Does have a shifter. I want to see what shock is on this. It seems like it's jacked way high. I think he gets quantity discount on Sun F tires. Again, Allen had bolts here. At least he's got both bolts in there. Is it a $7,100 machine? Obviously somebody bought it, but... I mean, he makes them look fresh, and then people, people see that and they want it. Okay, 89. These are the lowest production number 250Rs. Meyer fenders. See how the steering stem is is down behind the the headlight bezel. When we look at this one, it's way high. So it sold for seventy seven hundred dollars. See how that's got the embossing. So that's factory. This is a factory piece of plastic, but the fenders aren't. Seat cover has the warning way up over the the top. Like that's just got to be pulled tighter. I don't get it. Aftermarket grab bar. Red chain, of course. Expect nothing less. Sun F tires. I mean, if you wanted one and you needed one, and this was the only one you could get. And look how far forward the 250R seems. It should be back a little bit. 7700 bucks is a lot, but like, restored ones are going for up over 10 86 250R, 7150. Sun F tires, naturally. OEM looking fork boots. Meyer fenders, you can see the, the headlight bezel has the two bolts, or the through rivets there. This is the newer Meyer fenders. So they have that, the spot where the embossed warning would go, but it's not there. Aftermarket grab bar. Got the original tank shrouds on it. This is common for them to do this. I would rather have that than a, a Meyer. The black top triple is correct. This is an 85 bezel. <clears throat> Doesn't have the chain cover on it. Doesn't have the right shift lever. Got a shiny foot peg bolt and a, a black one. There's no knob here. Where's your knob? No skid plate. Aftermarket seat cover. Original exhaust. Aftermarket handlebars. But he puts OEM grips on it, but he can't put bar ends on it because they're not threaded. <clears throat> oh, that is, I'm sorry, I take it back, 86 style. Headlight bezel. So that is correct. Is it worth $7,150? I've sold OEM nicer machines for less than that. Not that long ago. I wouldn't do it now, but 
you could get a better machine for 7150 I'd say more original so 86 custom so he's got a 500 motor in there let's just point out the obvious red chain <laughs> Sun F tires A lot of people would want this because it's a 500. Being that's a dirt bike motor, they aren't counterbalanced the same. They say they shake. I don't know. I've never ridden one. My buddy Mitch has probably the nicest looking one that's ever been built, in my opinion. It's got an electric start on it. What did this sell for? 12 grand? I guess. That's high. Still a better deal than, than that 350X that sold. Another 85. These are, you get to look, how many does he go through? He's legit just putting stuff together to bring to auction, hoping for the best. 11 grand. Now, why did this sell for 11 and 85 with Meyer fenders, no skid plate, Sun F tires? OEM tank that has schmutz on it, 86 style start switch, aftermarket bars. Is that seat cover factory? Possibly. I need another angle. Aftermarket grab bar. Yeah, look at this thing. This. That is not factory. It's too big. At least he's got the front sprocket guard on it, though, I guess. No. Somebody overpaid. Why did they do it? I don't know. Crazy. 11 grand? No way. Alright, 83. Meyer fenders, because they got the gap here. Just the way they're their mold works. Look at these fork boots. What's going on with this? I don't know. Incorrect tail light. You must get these by the, the dozen. That's like 300EX, 250X style tail light. Aftermarket seat cover. I mean, it's clean. I guess. What's the price? 6000 No. Nope. Somebody overpaid. I don't know if they overpaid by double or 2500 but it's clean, but it's not not good enough. How do we get back? How do we get here? What am I doing? Lots. Why does it jump like that? Well, QA50. We'll just look at these quick. 1100 bucks. I'd say that's a deal on that. That's a clean little unit. It's still got the sticker in the back. Maybe that's an aftermarket sticker. I don't know. But I think they're very cool. What else? A little Rupp. This guy just died. I don't. I can't remember his first name, but Mr. Rupp just died since this auction happened. Nine thousand dollars on that. $16,000 on this. Wow, I have no idea if that's highway robbery or underpriced. Another QA50, 3300 It's like a parrot green color. The Camaro, why are we jumping? We're jumping here. I'm sorry, guys. It's like we jump away from Hondas and they, they switch. Look at this little Cushman, 9900 that's pretty cool. 74 ATC 70, 3850. Looks tastefully done. I think these are Mark's machines. Mark, this is not where that sticker goes, I don't think. I don't know what you did there. That should be down here. So this is a nice looking machine. More pride went into this than the other ones. What is that? What did I just say? That doesn't go there. 
That can easily be peeled off, right? 3850. This is a clean little unit. Is it a 3850 unit? Could be. Another QA50. I had one like this, but I had the, the decal on the back. 2750? That's the wrong seat cover. Pretty, yeah. Uh, something's going on with that. That's not right. I don't know. What else? Show me more. Yamaha, I don't know, 83 250R, so this one went for 5500 so this one went for less than the other one. I just like the way it looks better. Scott Meyer fenders, headlight guard, the tank is shinier. Got a cool silencer on it, I'm not familiar. This is tasteful. Nice tank. Skid plate. What a novel idea. It's missing the valve stem cap. We'll take off points for that. Motor looks clean. 5500 is still a lot of money. I get it. You know, there's the auction bump. 2750 on this 85 110. That's pretty high. Because it's just a 110. Got a tube in that tire. The tire's original. Original rears. Looks like rims have been painted. It's missing the sticker here. But everything looks clean, fresh. That, the rims have not been painted, because look at that. Original. Tires not tubed on the rear. It's got the paperwork in the trunk. This is a nice machine. Is a 2750 nice? I wouldn't pay that. But it's at least a two thousand dollar machine for as clean as it is. Probably more than that. Alright, we're back at Tony Ri Tony Riba's garage. I don't know what the market is on. LT 250Rs, but 3500. That's probably a little light. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't follow them at all. Couldn't tell you. Quadzilla 7100. I know people just want these because they're they're the big dog. Did I go forward or backwards? I went backwards. I hit the wrong button. I'm not gonna. Dwell here. 87 CR500. 8,000 the bid goes on. I don't know what that means. There were a couple that I saw that the bid went on. Like this. What did this sell for? It doesn't say. It's Tony Ribas. DG Exhaust. We don't know what it sold for. Of course, it doesn't have a skid plate on it or on, under the engine. Who needs those? Extra weight, right? Let's make it light and go extra fast. Metal tank. 85. Tank shroud here. Boy, that looks like an 86 on this side. Why are we doing that? Wrong grab bar. Looks like the motor's been painted and he just swapped out all the hardware for Allen head hardware. Why not? At least the fork peg bolts. The foot peg bolts aren't uh, red. Aftermarket bars, aftermarket grab bar, aftermarket switch. It's got a chain guard on it. These are painted over. Just another indicator that he's just spray bombed everything. But we don't know what it sells, sold for because it doesn't say. I don't understand. Same thing with this. This was what I wanted to see. Meyer fenders, red chain, naturally. 
Motor looks to be painted, but at least he cleaned those off. Got a front brake caliper because we know sometimes he doesn't do that. Sun F tires. He's got the same, the same tricks for all of these. Fork boots are just sagging because they haven't got a clamp on it. They're probably not the right fork boots. They're probably the the nineteen dollar Amazon two fifty R fork boots that don't fit right on a three fifty X. But whatever. It's got aftermarket rim on the front. It's got TRX rims on the back. It does appear to be actually an eighty six though. I believe that's aftermarket seat cover, even though it is seamless. I like that he's maybe at least trying a little bit. The lower triple has been painted black, and they painted right over the label. They didn't even go to Mike Pongren to get a new one. No skid plate, swing arm. No swing arm, skid plate, rather. That does appear to be an 86 grab bar with the wrong tail light. Am I boring you guys? This is Bruce's uh, Bruce Almond's mud flap decal for Meyer fenders. So at least he's now maybe he's learned from my videos and now he's upping his game. But there's no price. What did it sell for? Why doesn't that one have a price? This one has a price. Did it not sell? Was there a reserve? This Takati 4 sold for 6000 And now we're back to cars. Let's wrap up. Let's see where we left off and see if we can just wrap this up. So we're getting into bikes. and Here's a 250R. $14,000. Let's look at that more for a second. I can tell this is Mark's 5,000, 5,500 rather on this guy. It's got some suspension going on. It's easy to put a lot of money into those. 4,400 on a 84, 200X. That's a lot of money. All right, let's look at this 250R and close this thing out. Is this... A fourteen thousand three hundred dollar two fifty R. Well, it's got the correct rubber on it. Let's start there. It appears to have OEM fenders on it. Yes, OEM headlight bezel. Wrong fork boots, so we take away points for that. It has an aftermarket exhaust. What is it? Not sure. It looks like it's DG. Is that DG? Is that DG? Don't know the the head pipe. You know the it's got original rears, but tread life, not much left. Pro vector front. So that is correct. That's probably the original tire because afterwards it would have gone to PV. The rims look nice. They're bright. They look like '86 color, which would be Enki versus Harada. Twist throttle, yucky. Don't like that. All right, we got a stamp here. Embossed. Show me another angle. Double embossed. So these are correct 86 fenders. That's a correct seat. This is the nicest 250R we've seen today. So I recognize this sticker as being California. So it's a California bike. Tread life is below half, I'd say. Better than having some Sun F tires on it, though, for sure. What's it? What did that just say? Gold FMF Gold Series. I couldn't see that in the other pictures. Daddy. So it's been painted because I think those came chromed, right? Is it? A fourteen thousand dollar two fifty R. I would say no. It's not original enough. It's not pristine enough. But is it 
a hell of a lot better value than the $16,000 350X we saw in the last video we did like this. Oh, hell yeah. That's the nicest 250R of the bunch. That's the most original machine. Um, outside of maybe that 110 we looked at, but that's that would be the most desirable one in in this lot for me. But I just like to touch base and, and give my two cents on these videos. Last one, uh, people seem to like it quite a bit, and people said they learned stuff, so I'll do it again if uh, if I see another good one. But that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if I goofed up any details, feel free to make comments and leave them down there, and uh, I'll try to learn. And if you got anything out of this, let me know. Thanks for watching.